Hey, what's going on? It's Marta from Ignition Off Road, and today we're going to do the first outing in the XT Forester. We're currently up here at the Thompson Dam just off of Aberfeldy, and um, it's pretty late, so today we're just going to do a bit of a mission to try and find a campsite. And then um, tomorrow we're going to go exploring up around the Jamison area. So it should be good fun. Stick around and stay tuned for more. On this trip, I'm joined by my mate Lockie, who you would have seen in my dual range video, and he is driving his Holden Rodeo 4x4 for this trip. It's late in the afternoon, and I've just finished work, so today's mission is to find a campsite for the night. As we make our way through the historic town of Aberfeldy, the sun is setting, and soon enough, we are engulfed in darkness. From Matlock onwards, it's time to leave the beaten path and make our way to the Ryan Spur hut where we would stay the night. While there is little information available, Ryan's hut, which is believed to have been a timber cutter's hut, was our camp for the night. While it's not the prettiest hut with its graffitied walls, it was a welcome sight when we turned up late in the night. With the frying pan warmed up, it's time for breakfast and you just can't go past bacon on a high country trip like this. One thing I always try to do when I stay in a hut like this is just to uh, try to make sure to keep the place tidier than when you arrived. Unfortunately, it's something you have to do in this day and age, but picking up someone else's trash goes a long way to uh, preserving these huts. Awesome things about the high country huts is the visitors books you can find in them. It's always interesting to see who's visited in the past and leave a mark of your own. With daylight on us and a day of hitting the tracks ahead, now is a great opportunity to air down before saying goodbye to the hut.
As we climbed Ryan's spur, the tracks became steeper and my low range really gets put to the test. While the camera never does the steepness justice, these tracks were proper steep and I would not have conquered these tracks without my awesome dual range gearbox built by All Drive Subaru. Reaching our main destination, we arrive at the Mount Terrible Hut and some of the best views in the high country. Originally constructed in 1962, the hut was destroyed by fire before being rebuilt in 2016 to its current glorious state and is a must see for anyone visiting the high country. Just finished our drive up Mount Terrible. We're down in Jamison now, got ourselves some pies and some drinks. Gonna go have some sales on lunch. Lunch out of the way, it's time to hit the road, and our last mission is to drive German Spur. German Spur is a very steep track and climbs ruthlessly for kilometers. 
filled with loose rock and very few opportunities to pull over, we had to do the initial climb in one hit and could only capture it with the GoPros. While the camera never does it justice, this track was so challenging for the Forester, I did notice the temperatures rise, and I had to let the car cool down by the time we had reached the top. My temperatures are going up, so once we're um, at the top of this, I might stop for a little bit. Even with the bigger radiator, it seemed the steepness of the mountain and the heat of the day were just too much for my little Subaru. Finishing off the trip, we just had to stop by the old service station in Woods Point, one of the most iconic high country buildings in existence. So we're back down at the Thompson Dam. We pretty much just finished up our trip. Um, had an absolute blast. I'm super stoked with what the Subi was actually capable of doing with a low range. Um, it's really just changed the car. It's gone from being a Subaru to actually being able to treat it a bit like a four-wheel drive with that low range. Um, just some seriously steep tracks I was able to do on it. So I'm super stoked with what I've achieved. And um, yeah, it's just become such a cool car. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my Instagram at Ignition Off Road and to check out my fan page account. I'll leave you a link for that in the description below. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya.